for Stack 2018, the international law enforcement, security and tactical solution in Nuremberg, Germany. Security and police forces need to increase their capacities to respond to the new threats against terrorist attacks. At Enforstax, many international and national companies present latest innovation and technology, including weapons, security equipment, and more. My name is Tom Lardelli. I'm uh, the sales director of the Swiss company DropTech. Uh, we sell a counter drone net pistol. It's a counter drone pistol to uh, shoot a net up onto civilian drones and uh, in order to catch it, of course. It is similar to other counter drone system, but uh, with this one we have a, a much further distance. Um, compared to other net guns or net launching devices. The big advantage of our system is of course its size, its small size. It's, uh, it's not taking much place away, for example, in a police vehicle on duty. And uh, also it is, uh, compared to other systems, fairly cheap to buy. Um, our price is about four to 5,000 euro, and we, when you compare it to other uh, bigger counter drone uh, guns, it is a really good price. Basically, this is the pistol and this cartridge contains the net. This cartridge is screwed onto the pistol and we fire it with a 308 blank cartridge, which is filled in here. Cock the hammer and the red is ready to shoot. It's also equipped with a Meopta red side, red dot side, which makes it very easy for the operator to aim with it and shoot down a possible threat. The ammunition is basically, uh, th th this is two parts. One part is the front part, this is the net cartridge, which contains the net. Okay. It's a two by two, a very tear resistant net. And we have two, uh, uh, a 308 blank cartridge or 7.62 by 51 millimeter blank cartridge to speed up the net. After three meters, the net is already fully deployed and flies up to 50 meters, whereby 30 meters is the ideal range. After 30 meters, the net is becoming slower because of the gravity. And when you shoot a drone, uh, the net gets uh, entangled with the rotors and blocks the drone's thrust, so the drone will fall down to the ground. We deliver our system with this uh, case, with all the components you see here. And like I said, it's about 5,000 euro, depending on the country we are delivering to. Yeah, well, the Welp Group is uh, focused on uh, two different things in the automotive industry. On the one hand side, we are a specialist in the automotive industry uh, for the engineering, the production, and uh, finally the supply of, of a, a wide range of automotive parts. And that is that. What you can see here today, uh, we are focused on special and special armored vehicle. And that we are doing on uh, different locations in the world, in Germany, in Romania and in the United Kingdom. Uh, today we are more than 700 employees and a lot of them are very high qualified and uh, in terms of engineers uh, and, and uh, qualified uh, employees in the production. We present today here on the Enforce Tag uh, two vehicles. At one hand side is it's a Land Cruiser in VR9, the V Palm uh, level. And on the other side, uh, you can see a Sprinter vehicle. It's an ambulance car um, with an armored shape. And the idea behind it uh, to have a vehicle, what you can't, can't see from outside, uh, so that it's an armored car. No, what you can see is like a civilian car and you can use it in critical situations or in critical areas uh, to save people and uh, to use uh, um, for injured people uh, this vehicle uh, under the, and, and protect uh, in a protect area. On another hand, we can use this vehicle on one hand side uh, for the transport of people uh, in an armored, armored vehicle on the other side to use it as a medical car. It's, it's a, it basically is a very flexible the system we, we, can, we, show, we show it today. Um, um, basically, um, the system you can, you can rent. Yeah? As a customer, you can rent the car 
or you find another uh, financial solution to use it timely or to buy the car. That's it's one, one side of the, of the idea. The other one is um, to protect it. Um, this vehicle we, we show here today uh, is a vehicle in VPAM VR6. That means it's protected against the Kalashnikov, a Kalashnikov class, what we can grow up the ballistic class up to VR, VR9, uh, up to what, what you want. Today we show it only um, for, for one Jew people. Um, or additionally, we can use this car for up to eight people uh, to transport eight people in our, in a, in a, as a passenger carrier. My name is Martin. This is our newest assault rifle, the STM 556. It's an RF-15 system and Steyr tried to take all the advantages of the AUG inside the R15 system. That means we have a big barrel change. We have a monolithic upper receiver. This is made from one aluminium part. We try to get the bolt group from the AUG. We had an aluminium up lower receiver with our own uh, trigger group. Uh, all these parts are, uh, you can change all these parts with another R15 system, but not only the parts, only the uh, part groups. Next step, we have a longer uh, stock. The advantage of this stock is if you carry a bullet proof vest or something else, the system is lower at the body. This weapon, you say it, uh, is in the Austrian army uh, since a couple of months. The whole system is made from aluminium. It's a very low weight weapon, except the barrel and the bolt. All our weapons have a cold forged barrel. Um, the aluminium is with a Cerakote finish. This rifle in this version has a caliber of 338 Lapo Magnum. We, are always, uh, we can always uh, change the barrel and the magazine to a 308 Winchester, it's no problem. We have all the, the function parts, all the parts, the, the uh, upper receiver, the housing, the stock is also all is made from aluminium with a Cerakote finish. You can mix different colors of the Cerakote, it's no problem. The bolt and the barrel is made from steel, it's a cold forged, cold forged steel. And in this weapon we have integrated a barrel change option. You need some tools for it, that's for sure. We can, this version is a 338 Lapo Magnum and we also are able to put a barrel inside with a 308 or whatever you want. The stock is also designed for us. It's a foldable stock to the left side. We have the butt plate. You can uh, adjust in length. You can also turn it in high, and you can and you can turn it. There is also a single stick on it. I don't know why. So, for more stabilized. And we have the cheek piece, which is also adjustable in, 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 in height. You, we can put every type of side. The only if you, have, you need a mount with a Picantini rail, which is for Picantini. Uh, on the side, you can also see this uh, key mode system. We are able to make uh, rail systems on this key mode. We can do it with quick detach mounts, whatever you want. This is our sniper, habit sniper rifle in 50 cal. Uh, it's an anti-material weapon. It is used as an anti-material weapon. It's also a bolt action rifle. Uh, the advantages of this rifle is we have the magazine by side. And with this version, we can use a very long barrel. The barrel is uh, up to 900 millimeters long. So we have uh, effective range of about 
2,500 meters. He is able to change the magazine without any problems, always on the target. If you had the magazine in, on the uh, bottom of the weapon, you always have to pick up the weapon and you are not able to see the target or to control the area. My name is Tim Russell. I'm a director owner of uh, Advanced Accuracy Solutions. We distribute and produce the Reaper weapon and shield support systems. Uh, they're basically an exoskeleton design as you can see. Um, basically what it does is take the weight that's out in front of your body, either a machine gun, a rifle or a ballistic shield, and transfers it onto your hips uh, distributing the weight away from your arm so it allows you more longevity and more uh, operational time uh, to deploy your weapon system or your ballistic shield. We have hundreds of units worldwide at the moment so Australia, the US, all through Europe, we have Middle East, um, it's becoming very popular. We originally designed it for shooting from helicopters with uh, machine guns or sniper rifles or, or assault rifles. Uh, it just takes the weight off the arms and allows you to concentrate on accuracy. Obviously it's evolved to now where we carry ballistic shields. So we have the ability to run 30, 40, 50 pound shocks design, uh, depending on the weight of your ballistic system. So this one is uh, 15 kilograms, so we have 45 pound shocks in our system. Um, the system is being deployed to hold it onto my hips. So this shield from Tencate is designed so that the operator can move the shield where it needs to be without also having to deploy the weight. Well, yes, if you had to, you could run your pistol. And again, I'm not using my muscular to hold the weight of this heavy shield. So uh, I can operate it like this. I can be over the top. I can, wherever I put the shield, that's where it will stay. So I can, you know, I can deploy it onto things. I can have it up. It's, it's not in my arms. We have got another one in development for hunters, but they are the two that we offer for military and law enforcement. There's the uh, two systems available, the Reaper weapon support and the Reaper shield support. The, the weapon, the, sorry, the shield support is just a little bit longer here to allow the shield to stand off a bit more. Yeah, my name is Tony Lindner. I'm the technical officer of the uh, company Garant. We make uh, protection uh, suits now uh, and uh, protection for vehicles and aircrafts since uh, 1960. Uh, our new products are not new, but uh, the high-end uh, products are the tactical uh, suit. It's a special bulletproof uh, suit for uh, different types of bullets. A suit with soft ballistic and hard ballistic. It's a flexible ceramic. Uh, the ceramic is for destroying the bullets and uh, uh, soft protection is to, to keep the fragments here. Yeah. Especially of our bomb suit, we can uh, customize because uh, the, the program is all dig digital and we uh, make special softwares for the, for the customers. Yeah. yeah, for EOD team, that's the EOD uh, bomb suit, uh, bomb protection suit. Uh, here we have a higher protection uh, for blast waves and fragmentations. Uh, it's also a little bit uh, more heavy. <laughs> But uh, here with the helmet and the suit we have totally uh, 28 kilograms. We have uh, especially we have uh, the white light, we have a blue light, we have a torch uh, on the hand and we have a fan in the helmet. We have also a, a visor, a heater, a defrost they call it. Uh, we have ambience microphones on the helmet that you can hear what uh, outside happens. Uh, we have here the communication system. You can connect different types of uh, communication systems. Uh, we have a, a standard version. Uh, in the standard version, you have just uh, the hand control unit and the helmet. And then we have a, a, 
the higher up version. And then we have a central unit with uh, different connectors. We have a speed control system in the helmet that you don't use your, your hands. Uh, you just uh, use your, 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 your speak, your language, uh, to make all the offers in the, in the electronic.